Located next to a medieval town on the Mediterranean island of Mallorca, the Archaeological Field School of Polentia is looking for high school students ages 16 and 17 to excavate the forum of the ancient Roman city. Rome founded Polentia around 70 BC when Pompey the Great was fighting pirates in the Mediterranean. The settlement soon became a major city during the reign of Augustus, and all its activity was centered in the forum. Over the past 10 years, Archeo Spain and the Spanish archaeological team have worked with students in the field and in the classroom to teach them the day-to-day -day work that goes into an ongoing research project. Digging, mapping, archaeological workshops, and artifact recovery and classification will round out the daily schedule. The objectives for this campaign are mainly working in the late antique fortification that closes what it was the old forum of the city in a late antique period, probably in a Byzantine period. We're also excavating the entire insula of Taberna, these little shops that uh, we had in the, in the forum area, and also a big building that is over there in the eastern part of the forum site, where we have found what we think it could be a, a, a big building that we could think that was a macellum. This is a market where people could buy the stuff and, you know, fruits, vegetables, and all, all these things that were needed for, for everyday life. My name is Grace Molino. I'm 17 years old. I'm from uh, Long Island, New York, and I go to Ward Melville High School. The last few weeks, I've been working at the site, uh, excavating what they think is a Markellum, so it's an indoor market. And we've been trying to find the different walls that surround the house, and we've been digging uh, different, out different rooms. We found some really cool things. We found lots of different types of pottery from different periods, and we found Roman, lots of Roman coins and Roman nails, and lots of roof tiles from the tops of their houses. And uh, in the afternoons, we wash all the pottery that we found. So as excited as we are to find all the pottery, it is a lot of work washing all of it in the afternoon. And we all go on uh, different excursions in the afternoon, so sometimes we go to the beaches and sometimes we go to, like, we went to uh, a castle and we've gone into some different cities. We've gone to uh, Valdemosa and to the major city of Palma. So we keep really busy, but we have a lot of fun and it's, it's really nice being with a lot of uh, other people your age working on something like this. And it's, uh, you never know what you're going to do the next day. You're going to go on different excursions, you might work on a different section of your dig. So it's always, it's never boring, it's always exciting to come the next day. Hi, um, my name is uh, Russell Williams and uh, I go to the Rudolf Steiner High School in New York City. I was always uh, interested in archaeology before I came here and in coming here uh, that's definitely um, set it in stone, I guess you could say, my desire to to follow archaeology in college and also as a career after college. So this program has definitely um, uh, opened my eyes, you could say, um, to a much broader sense than before I came here. And it's definitely um, made my desire to continue archaeology even stronger than before I came. Hi, my name is Chris Marr, and I'm a student at SUNY Potsdam. Uh, I'm studying archaeology there. Um, I've been coming to the Palencia program for uh, five years now, and the first couple times I came with Archeo Spain, and now I'm working with um, the Spanish students who also uh, help uh, work at the excavation at the same time as the American students. Um, and this program is just amazing. Uh, I love the people, I love the program, and it's it's t attending Archeo Spain that first year really helped me form a firm foundation and uh, made me fall in love with archaeology.